No, th thank you very much, Elaine. So I think uh, you're looking at the very um, economic view that I suppose I, representing a business, can fully follow. Absolutely. Thank you very much. More questions for you later. And we'll pass on to uh, Michael Tabo. And if you could, I think you have some slides as well. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm representing the Polish Chamber of Information Technology and Telecommunication, and I hope my slides oh, will be in a moment. Okay, uh, on the first slide, uh, which I hope will be in a moment, will... Next slide, please. Okay. Uh, it's, it, it was said a few times here that uh, service must be usable and simple for, for people to... Uh, it's for me the EIDA service and on the next slide you will see that on the next slide, yeah, the real goal for EIDA is to hide all this difficult and difficult to understand and difficult to use trust services behind simple and usable business service and and if we achieve this it, it will be our goal but today presentation i want to focus some more about on on a seal and on the next slide what's the difference uh, between a paper process and electronic process. When we are talking about paper processes, uh, it means that all need, all uh, processes were needs to prepare document. We need person, we need uh, human to sign documents from business processes. And because uh, all directive was based on uh, experiences from paper world, everywhere was signature. The new EIDAS regulation allows us to prepare evidence from business processes based on automatic trust services. And the next slide, please. Uh, trust service for me, it's collecting evidence. It allows to collect evidence from different places, from from different uh, uh, different parts of, of business process, uh, put it together based on workflow and produce new evidence. Next slide, please. Uh, business process uh, is or are events which create all evidence. Uh, I hope this animation, okay, it goes, it goes very slowly. Uh, if you, okay. Uh, all these parts of, of this evidence put together and seal it with electronic seal. Uh, on the next slide, please, uh, only legal person can create electronic seal. And electronic seal guarantees uh, the authenticity, integrity of uh, the document. And advanced electronic seal is created using data which is under control of the creator of the seal. The EIDAS regulation does not specify how this control should be implemented. Uh, in this area, the IDAS regulation leaves some freedom and allows the creator of the seal to establish their own control measures over data used for placing the seal. And the next slide, please, it uh, enables um, technical solutions which the seal can become a part of a device provided or authorized by creator of the seal. These devices create an electronic seal over data processed by them. Uh, the seal can contain information from processing schema and security conditions. Uh, individuals or legal person for specific dedicated tasks can use such devices. Uh, the evidence prepared by such device can secure a business process or be part of other trust services. And some device examples on next slides. Uh, for example, a 
photo camera, digital photo camera with uh, electronic seal, which uh, allows us to collect evidence from from accident. Uh, on the next slide, we can uh, make solutions like uh, uh, insurance agent app to collect evidence from insuring process, seal it, and to have uh, final contract, uh, insurance contract. Next uh, slide. Uh, for postal services, we can use uh, uh, use postman's terminals to protect evidence from delivery process and and other processes during delivery. For example, on next slide, we will see. Uh, that we can sell also consumer credits during delivery time. Uh, and mm, the next slide, electronic seal uh, allows us to, 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 to create uh, different devices. So I, I, know, I know it's sealing devices, which uh, allows us to, to collect our evidence seal it and uh, and have it secured for, for from business processes and the last slide is uh, it's some information about me and thank you for your attention yes, thank, thank you very much to you all and uh, before I ask for questions from everybody else in the room if you could all taking turns, starting with Michael now at the end, uh, say very briefly, do you think that in areas where there is no legal requirements, so let's leave aside legal requirements to prove that I'm dealing with somebody because I have obligations as a financial services institution, for example, uh, or because the law provides for it, will, will the process be so low cost and convenient Will, will providers, trust providers, be able to develop technology that is so low cost and convenient that I'd actually like to extend it to all of my business because uh, it, it's so painless? So that's the first question. And the second question is, if there is that kind of convenience achieved, do you think that this will ultimately be a winner-takes-all market like we've seen in other areas of the uh, digital stage? So, my Thank you. Uh, the first question is, I believe that uh, we can make services which, which uh, will take, will uh, allow us to, to reduce cost and, and it will be drivered for, for the services. And I believe that politics will allow us to, to, to create that, that kind of services. Uh, and uh, all services driven by business are uh, more uh, prepared for, for uh, end user needs. Uh, and uh, answering your second question, um, I believe that Europe is not one uh, one kind of market. We can. We need some different solutions for, for, for different needs. And I hope that uh, uh, it won't be just only one winner for, for, for it, because uh, one winner means no competition. And no competition means that uh, uh, there is no need to, 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 to rise your, your, your solutions to, to, to go, go up. Thank you. Uh, I'll just pass on down. So just uh, if you go next, Elaine, and uh, you can then hand on to Heinz. Uh, 